Uh, good evening. I am back for a quick video. It's been a few weeks, but I do want to just elaborate on a few things I said in my last video where I was talking about a non-standard meth combination. Uh, I'm just going to provide a few examples of the non-standard meth combination, but I'm not going to provide an example of defining your own, although it isn't uh, too difficult. So like, like normal, I have prepared some code from before. So we are going to just use uh, and Dexador. So Jonathan is a, a JSON parser and generator, but we are, are going to quickly demonstrate a use you could have for, for the append method. Uh, there is no point in me writing all of these out. So we have a few classes here. As you can tell, they're like various HTTP methods. One of them has a body. We're going to want to encode the body using JSON. So we're going to, well, let's take a look at this, right? So dex store, or dex post, has the following arguments. You can see down at the bottom. You, it takes the uh, URI, and then the args, or in this case, and then a bunch of keyword arguments. So what we would do is do something like, yeah, it's gonna tell me I can't do that, but that's okay. But because this is, um, because this is Lisp, you can use apply, and then you can provide it with a list of arguments so like headers, or something like that. Of course, that's not uh, going to work because I missed that. But yeah. So what we can do is we can do def generic. We can generate our headers, which takes a request. And then we're going to specify the non-standard method combination with method combination and use append. And in this case, I want most specific last. This means, so say we are using the post request. Post request is a subclass of uh, request with body, which is a subclass of request. So the methods are going to be called request, request with body, and then post in that order from uh, the most specific last, as you can imagine. So now let's provide, let's uh, add some. Let's add some default behavior, which we'll just have for no class. So we're gonna use the, we're gonna accept application slash JSON. Oh, I should have uh, mentioned with Dexador, uh, headers are provided as an A list like this. Uh, and we're going to send application JSON and then we're going to generate our authorization or our bearer token ooh, for ooh. we're going to evaluate this format the old bearer and then we'll just make some silly function that does nothing called compute bearer ooh, and we need to make sure in here we specify the method combination. Yeah. Let's gen those headers. Oh, I messed up. Let me just quickly restart. Makes no difference. That was just a mistake because I hadn't, uh, because if you, when you create a method without using the gen def generic first, the uh, method, uh, the generic function is defined automatically. And because I hadn't created it, it created one using, <coughs> without using the append method, basically. Um, so I just restart to get rid of it. Uh, but now, so now if we do a make instance, I don't know, post, and we do gen headers, produces a list of the headers. Now we will provide a more 
specific one for wreck with body where we will provide the content key and do jojo to json content oh body wreck need to make sure we evaluate that so if we make instance post and we do body foo and then we gen the headers we have now got a list oh we've created a list here headers it's a p list headers you know we've got our three entries here we've got our content key which if we do dex post as you can see down here where is it content is a keyword argument so we can now do apply dex post uh, you own whatever sorry google not like you're gonna care um and then we can just apply that as our arguments obviously can't really uh, I can't really demonstrate to you that working, but you get the point. How it's working is you're providing the default functionality for append, so this will always get called. And then for a more specific version, you're choosing how to uh, you're choosing how to generate more. So you're generating a new list which is appending into this one. Um, say for example, maybe you had a patch request, and uh, I don't know. Um, yeah, well, perhaps you would not use request with body, you would just do post specifically, and then you could generate the patch or generate the post differently. That's just, you know, it's just an example. Um, but it compartmentalizes the, uh, the code nicely and allows you to construct things, uh, construct lists, and then, and then use them as arguments to func function calls that accept keywords. Uh, quite nicely. I personally use it quite a lot. Right, let's take a look at another one. We'll just look at Progen. So I'm all, a few, we'll add a few more classes here that I obviously uh, wrote earlier. So we just got variation on, of shape. So we have shape, round shape, circle, which is a subclass of round shape, straight edge shape, which is a uh, subclass of shape, and square, which is a subclass of straight edge shape. And so we want, we're just going to make a generic function which would, which verifies ooh, the uh, integrity of a shape or a shaper shape. And we're going to use the method combination progen. And we're going to do most specific last again and then we're going to do death method verify integrity making sure to specify that it's progen and we're going to just have default behavior our default behavior for shape is just going to return t that's it it's just going to return t and we're going to do that for we're going to do that for all of them just so i can demonstrate what is happening? Well, how about we do this? Let's let's quick load uh, log oh, log four cl. I like log four cl, and then we can do log info round log info default shape log info straight no now we have to put a capital don't we and then let's do this and then on this last one we're going to we've got the square the most specific we're just going to call it we're just going to have an error uh, square failed to validate Now let's make an instance of square. Well, no, let's make an instance of circle. And then we will call verify integrity. And so it's called the most specific, which is round shape. We are supposed to have made this shape shape. 
So it's called default shape first. Then it is called round. Uh, it is then called uh, round shape. Uh, we don't have any others. If we create one more for circle, circular, we're doing a very good job of verifying its integrity. And you can see it's called each individual one over and over. And then if we were to make a square and then verify that, we can see that it is called, it is called each of the least specific ones until it finally hits square, which is the most specific, and then it signals an error. Program doesn't do anything, it doesn't accumulate any values except the value of the final one called. Um, so it's, it's pretty similar to uh, the standard method, but it doesn't have primary, and it, does, it doesn't have before and after. It does still have a round. They all still have a round. Um, even a pen still has a round. Um, but it calls, it, it's executed, the method is called on each uh, superclass, I suppose. Yeah, that's, uh, I guess that's basically it. But uh, obviously you have the problem of uh, the having to determine the types at runtime. Um, but uh, maybe that won't be a problem in the future. Who knows? Anyway. Nice and short. Thank you very much.